Hi, and welcome to Davis Sports Report. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Number 10 is North Carolina Tar Heels. The Tar Heels had quite a few players returning this year, including their superstar, RJ Davis. Davis averaged 21.2 points and 3.6 rebounds per game last year. Also returning is Elliot Cadeau, who was on our freshman to watch list last year. Cadeau averaged 7.3 points per game and 2.2 rebounds, and we do expect greater things from Cadeau this year. Others returning that helped the Tar Heels last year are Seth Trimble, Jalen Withers, and Jalen Washington. Coming in from the transfer portal is Cade Tyson. He's coming in from Belmont. He's one that you don't want to leave open at the three-point line. Tyson averaged 16.2 points per game and 5.9 rebounds. Also, then Ellen Lubin coming from Vanderbilt. He averaged 12.3 points per game and 6.3 rebounds. The Tar Heels are also getting Ty Claude from Georgia Tech and Elijah Davis from University of Lynchburg, averaging 7.3 points per game, 1.3 rebounds, and Elijah is the son of head coach Hubert Davis. Freshmen joining the Tar Heels are seventh ranked Ian Jackson, a six foot four small forward. He looks to be a great offensive player, but I didn't see any defensive highlights. Also, 14th ranked Drake Howell. He is a six foot five shooting guard, and I think he is going to be the freshman breakout for this year. And I don't say that because I think he's better than the other players, but I do think he's going to provide them that defense that they need um, to be able to contend with other players. So I think he's going to do very well. And we also have number 69, James Brown. He is a six foot eight power forward that looks to be great in the post and can help fill the gaps that are left. Also, they are getting John Holbrook, a six foot eight forward that was a walk on and I wasn't able to find any highlights on him. So I'm not really sure what he's gonna bring to the table. So in summary, UNC lost their big man, Armando Bacot. He is now in the NBA and he was the top rebounder and he scored in the double digits. Just behind him was Harrison Ingram, who was also drafted last year. And they lost sophomore Zayden High, their six foot nine power forward that was projected to have a starting position this year. He unenrolled from UNC and we don't know why. So UNC barely lost to Alabama in the March Madness Sweet 16 and I don't feel like they got better this year. In order for the Tar Heels to excel, they would need one of their big men to fill the cot shoes on the defensive side. And I'm not sure that they have that in their roster. I'm not saying that the Tar Heels are going to be bad this year, but I don't think they should be ranked number 10. And for that reason, I am giving this prediction a thumbs down. Moving on. Thank you so much for joining us. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.